Kyle the Pug. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Professor Pug's Kennel Cast, Season 2, Episode 3. That is right, you are, you know, you are not mistaken. This is Season 2, Episode 3, so we kind of had a new name change. New season, pretty much same people, all that jazz. So, we were, uh, talk, like, before we get to uh, today's show here, I was actually thinking about food again, and I'm actually super hungry, which I don't know why I'm hungry, but I am hungry right now. But... You got me. You know what? Congratulations. Penguin got me. He got me. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm expecting another pug child soon, but no, but anyways. Um, so I was thinking about, uh, I saw a tweet on, uh, it was uh, Jack in the Box's uh, spicy, chick spicy chicken strips. And I'm... I was more of a Jack Spicy Chicken sandwich kind of person. Every time I went to Jack in the Box, it was like one of my favorite things to eat over there. But I'll tell you a little story about this. So... The last time I even ordered something from Jack in the Box, it was like a, uh, it was like two spicy chickens I ordered, and one of them was like a large meal, and it was I had like a large lemonade with it on the side. That all that combined was like almost fifteen dollars, which was insane. And I'm not, I kid you not, it was legit almost fifteen dollars. I think it might have been like fourteen fifty something, sixty eight. I don't know, somewhere around there. But oh my god, it was just, it was that bad. And I was just in a hurry trying to eat something, get something on the go, and I, yeah, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> like, I love Jack in the Box, but oh god, it was just absolutely just bonkers. It was, it was just one of those situations where I just had to get something to eat that day. That was years ago. But yeah, sadly, I love Jack in the Box, I love their egg rolls, I love the chicken sandwich. Curly fries are probably like my favorite thing, but... I'm never doing that again. Oh, I mean, yeah, curly fries. I I order curly fries every time I go to Jack in the Box. Like every, every every time, like I went there, I would always get the curly fries no matter what. But didn't you say like you kind of had a Jack in the Box somewhere? We have one here where I live at somewhere. I just don't know where. Yeah, we had like three, at least at least two in our like in our town over here. But <laughs> I know there's a third one somewhere, but I don't. I think it might be like on the yeah. east side of town, which I'm. I think I'm on actually the... might be on the border between us and uh, the other state. Yeah, I mean, I've... Like I said, it's like my number one favorite fast food joint if I wanted to get something to eat, but oh man, it's just... I don't know, it's just not the same anymore now that they, they jacked up the prices on all their large meals now. <laughs> jack the box, jacked up prices. <laughs> yeah, jack of the box is jacked up. Yeah, no pun intended. But, uh, yeah, I... Like, curly fries, sweet potato... Well, I don't know if they have sweet potato fries or not, but I am want to try to actually look at that when I actually can here. But just the curly fries, you put a little, I mean, they have seasoning on them, but you put like a little extra seasoning, like pepper or something. Oh man, that is good. <laughs> that is just absolutely amazing. But I don't know. That's just me. But Penguin, what's going on with you, man? How you doing? I'm oh, doing all right. Just while we're doing the podcast, I'm also playing Fortnite, trying to get some of these challenges. Oh, you, you've been on that Fortnite grind, Mr. Mr. Comic Book Man over here, trying to get all those challenges done for the superhero part. Yep. Hey, you know, that's, I mean, I thought about getting back on it, but I don't know, some of it's kind of sketchy to me, honestly. But, I don't Not know. Too bad right now, uh, most of the tryhards are in the ranked matches. Yeah, but, but you never know, you can actually get, like, some more tryhards, even in, like, regular modes. Even in Team Rumble, too, from what I've noticed as of lately. But oh, I don't... Team Rumble's always been tryhards and uh, hackers. I mean, it's it's always been like that. Even since, like, are you trying to get challenges done? You, like, want to get some kills, add on to points? Nope. Mm-mm. Uh-uh-uh. They're, they're, they're there to ruin your day no matter what. No matter what, they are there. Oh, man. But, yeah, I, I, I was thinking about, like, trying to re-download that sometime. But, um... At this moment, it's just like uh, I got other games I got to play. I downloaded, um, I downloaded PUBG, which I will be playing tomorrow night. Will be the first time ever. A little bit of a uh, fourth wall break here. Uh, I'm going to be teaming up with a friend I haven't played in a long time. So there is that. There is that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, playing some PUBG here. So 
Um, and um, and there was another thing I was going to mention here because I want to get back to uh, playing. Um, <clears throat> Excuse, yeah, excuse me, Super Metroid, because I was trying to get back into playing that. And uh, funny story with this uh, getting back into Super Metroid, and I know I haven't played it in a while. I made a bet with somebody on Twitter. They said, and this person knows who he is, they said if I beat Super Metroid, then they can go back and actually beat Minish Cap. That was the bet. And I'm talking to this person, like a little bit of a kind of a fourth wall break, a little bit on the podcast. They know who they are, so... I'm going to beat Super Metroid, 100%. I will guarantee that. I will make sure, I will grind in day in and day out just to beat it before, well, I don't know but right before Super Mario uh, 3D All-Stars comes out, but I'm going to beat it. I'm going to I'm gonna make sure he beats Minish Cap, so that is the bet. That, the bet is on, so I am more motivated than ever to do this, so... Yeah, I just wanted to say that on the uh, the podcast for you guys. So, wanted to clip that real quick. Here, let me give me a second here. I know it's a little bit of a fourth wall break, but uh, that's actually you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I kind of messed up on that, but that's okay. I'll I'll, I'll just clip it through the uh, Twitch side. But I was gonna clip it through uh, PlayStation, but then you know, kind of malfunction. But that's okay. But uh, other than Fortnite Penguin, what's been going on with? The backlog of your games, other than Fortnite. Uh, I beat uh, Avenger Story Mode. Oh, nice! Yeah, you, you. I think you were telling that to uh, Matt uh, yesterday. How did that go? Uh, not too bad. Now I just got to go back through it and get like some of the other things done. Oh, like the, the side uh, quests, challenges, and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you know, it's everybody's kind of buying into the. Uh, Marvel Avengers hype, um, and I know that I, somebody did tell me though that there was uh, like there's been some recent crashes on some people's games as of lately. Well, not lately, but like when the game got out. Though I think it was like during the beta when it's like the cr crashes started occurring. But then I guess when yeah. the full game got released, it wasn't like there were, aren't too many crashes, but there's still crashes that kind of occur a little bit, you know? Yep. But um, has that I happened didn't to you have yet? Any issues? But mm. no, I didn't have any issues. Okay. Okay. But it seemed like every time I got on, there was a new update to prevent stuff like that. So. Yeah, I mean, I just feels like I feel like with updates with like every single game, honestly, it's just the simple fact that you know they mess it up even more. You know, we're not going to talk about other games. Yeah, like <laughs> Friday the Thirteenth. <laughs> yeah, it's like they fix one thing and then they screw something else up. Yeah, they fix one thing and then all of a sudden, oh, here comes another uh, bug, exploit, or glitch that happens in the uh, actual game itself. Mm -hmm. So people need to uh, definitely need to try to like. Fix the all the glitches, not just one glitch, but like multiple glitches that happen with like each and every update. So I feel like they're yeah. kind of just slacking with that. And it, it's not just like, you know, it's not their fault, but it just like it happens and people like it's not. And again, it's not the developer's fault, in my opinion, but it's just that the toxic people that take advantage of this online just to like make other players lives who try to play the oh, game yeah. normally, you know, living hell, you know, and I've been like kind of like on the receiving end of that, too, so. That is uh, one one stipulation I wanted to talk about there with, you know, exploits and glitches. But if you wanted to do this, like, you know, like we ran into, a, I think it was, uh, I think it was last week. We ran into a couple of, uh, couple of glitchers. Well, not a couple of glitchers. It was on Friday the 13th and um, holy crap, that Jason Voorhees, like the player, whoever was controlling that. Oh my God. It was just, you feel, it looked like he was like, you know, spazzed out like he was on cr cocaine or something with the way he was moving. I'm, I'm serious. Like, it was oh, that... Yeah. No, I remember. Yeah, it was yeah. that terrible. Like was a flash or something. Yeah, he was just like, shoot, 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 like he was torpedoing. I was like, I couldn't even keep up with him. And then he, like, go into, like, combat stance, like, super fast. And do, 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 do. I'm like, 100%. I, th I think we were talking to, um... I think it was uh, Matt's friend John the other day on this. Like... He said it's possible to do it, but you gotta have like a modded controller to do it. So he kind of still cheating. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's still it's, it's it's cheating if you have like a mod. See, here's a funny story. Like a long time ago, I I don't I don't know if you remember this, but I actually used to own like a modded Nintendo 64 controller. Do you remember like a uh, the auto fire feature? A yeah. little bit, yeah, because it was one of those controllers. Like instead of just like tapping like a certain button, like you hold auto fire and then tap like hit the button you want that 
button to auto fire with instead of tapping you just hold down the button the button just goes and like goes super fast like i used to own one of those controllers it, it's it was super broken and op <laughs> yeah. but i don't know what happened to it now but it's, it was it's like long gone I've actually thought about getting a modded controller for zombies, and mm. the mod I wanted to put on there was um, auto sprint or infinite sprint. So basically, after you get done aiming down sight, your character just automatically sprints and doesn't stop sprinting. Oh, time. okay, yeah, yeah, I kind of it's like the dexterity like perk a little bit, but like on steroids. Yeah, because you know, like when we'll play and then like we'll sit there and like we sprint because your character won't sprint all of a sudden. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like, yeah, I'm re <laughs> that's hundred <laughs> percent. But yeah, yeah so, I feel yeah, because I was like looking at it, I'm like you know what, that fix the issue where your character doesn't keep sprinting when you want them to sprint. Mm -hmm. And experience, then you know, what's the point? Like that's just people are just gonna back out no matter what, you know. Yep. And I don't know, maybe that might be done. It might be me. I mean, I mean, you probably might agree with me on this, but I don't know. It's just like offline. It is one thing, though. But I feel like the only exploit or glitch I've ever done was uh, well, not not exactly like offline, but I don't think I don't think it was just Pokemon uh, red or blue with the missing no glitch. You put the uh, you put whatever item you want in the six slot to be, you know, be multiplied by a certain number and then you'll get like a pretty big huge number of uh like rare candy glitches and all that like rare candies master balls you name it because i remember the glitch and how to do it exactly it was uh i think i remember in viridian city you got to talk to the uh, old man about teaching you how to catch a pokeball and then once uh he teaches you like the tutorial and all that you got to fly to uh cinnabar island and you got to have a pokemon that knows surf and you gotta surf like on the east side of Cinnabar, and then you gotta just kinda keep going up and down, up and down, up and down the coast. You seasick a little bit, but uh, <laughs> anyway, um, so you keep doing that, like, and just, and then what happens is that you'll get like a, you know, a messed up Pokemon called a missing note, which is like a bunch of glitch, like, glitch, like, you know, what do you call those things? Pixels? I think it's pixels, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get like a bunch of glitch yeah. pixels that it's like a Pokemon. And then if you actually end up catching the Pokemon, like it messes up your Hall of Fame profile. That was the only bad thing about that. But like, but if you caught like the level zero one, it ended up evolving into a Kangaskhan for whatever reason. <laughs> I don't know why that yeah. had to be the case, but you know, that was just like a very infamous glitch I did. It was very easy to level up your Pokemon all the way up to level 100 too on red and blue. And I think they took that patch out in yellow too, if I remember correctly. Like, they actually yeah, took that out. Because so. I remember trying to do it on Pokemon Yellow, and it didn't work. Like, it absolutely didn't work, so I just kind of, like, did it. I'm like, I mean, I'm okay with doing it, like, you know, the challenging hard way. You know, leveling up the Pokemons yeah. and all that. I didn't mind that, but I don't know, it was just... There was actually... I've seen videos on, like, missing no glitches on certain games. And, like, even the missing no glitches with Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think, like, the raids and all that, and I think they took those out. I think Game Freak decided, like, you know, get some balls and take that part out of the game, but I don't know. It's just offline glitches, I don't care, like, unless you want to help people, you know, get a certain amount of items, and that's cool mm -hmm. if you want to benefit towards that, but to ruin somebody else's, like, you've had, like, God Mode on to, like I said, you know, just play on, like, you're, you're playing online and you're running to somebody that, like, can't be defeated, and... I've actually had, you know, especially like when I played at World of War, like Call of Duty World of War, for example, like when the game was like, you know, way beyond past its pride, there were so many hackers on that game, like they couldn't be killed, they kept getting dogs, you know, like a recon planes, you know, artillery, artillery barrages, you know, stuff like that, you know, that's just one of those things where it's just like, yeah, there's no point staying, I just leave. <laughs> you can't kill a guy, what's the point of like trying to play? Like... Like I said, go do that on your own time. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to talk a little bit of my uh, backlog on what's going on with uh, me really fast. So, like I mentioned before, I have a game coming up here. Uh, like I said, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I will be playing that, you know, I believe. Hopefully, it, I got it digitally, so hopefully it drops around. Like I Mostly, the... Digital games drop Thursday around 9 o'clock here in California, so that's like, you know, midnight on a Eastern Standard Time for uh, Mario 6, like, for all the, uh, all, 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 basically all the digital games drop around, like, midnight on the East Coast, but hey, you know, West Coast Advantage, I actually, uh, 
I have an advantage. You know, I get to play games at 9 o'clock Pacific time digitally before the actual uh, release date. So that's, a, that's, that's good. So um, I'm really pumped for that. Super excited. Going back to the uh, nostalgia date. I just wanted to mention, like, that's the one thing I wanted to talk about here. And the other one, I did mention Super Metroid. So I made that bet, you know, with somebody on Twitter. You know, that is a thing. And uh, bitrate's kind of low here, so I don't know uh, what's going on there. But uh, hold on, we gotta check on my bitrate here, so hopefully everything's okay with it. But anyway, I'm, best, uh, I'm just looking at you know the uh, thing here, kind of fourth wall break a little bit. But uh, the other game I was gonna uh, mention here, I finally beat Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Woo! I beat Wind Waker. <laughs> oh, but the. Uh, the final boss, though, with Ganon, like the Wind Waker Ganon, it might have been the most easiest final boss ever. Like, it was, like, easier than uh, Ocarina of Time Ganondorf, and I think... I don't know, I don't think I ever beat Twilight Princess yet, but I will try to get that, you know, you know sooner or later. So, that's, like, way down the road from now once I get to it. But, uh, even... Even Calamity Ganon on Breath of the Wild was actually a little bit harder than Wind Waker Ganondorf was, but uh, it was a pretty easy Zelda game, and I'm sure that everybody loved the uh, game just for its, you know, its art style, the color, the designs for it, you know, all that jazz. I, everybody loved it for that. It was, it was, I agree with them, you know. It, it's probably in my top five favorite Zelda games ever, and I mean that, like, 100%. And if you if you haven't seen you know if you haven't played Wind Waker you know you definitely need to go play it you know it's uh I emulated it but like I said it was worth emulating and I wanted to get that out of the way so Whew. I feel like it's a big big W big W for me in my gaming career <laughs> but yeah what were you saying though Penguin I was saying like yeah I've uh, played it way back in the day. Yeah, but I, I thank God I actually finished it, though. Oh, my God. See, like, I took the streaming day off. Like, I think it was, uh, I think it was last Thursday. Was it last Thursday? No, 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 it was Friday. It was last Friday. So, uh, yeah, I'm kind of trying to remember the days here, so I'm trying to go back here. But, um, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I spent at least 12 hours on, the, on Friday beating that game. Like, I was like, yeah, I think I'm done with gaming for today. Because I was so determined on uh, beating uh, Wind Waker so badly. And ironically, because a uh, little off topic, uh, if you know a Twitter account named uh, Zelda Gift World, they actually started the uh, whole Zelda Weeks thing. And the first game they mentioned was Wind Waker. And I'm just thinking to myself, okay, you know what? We're going to beat this game on Wind Waker Day. And then, you know, guess what happened? Obviously, the rest is history. I ended up beating the game, which I started playing around like 7.30 in the morning. And I beat it at around like 7.30 at night. So... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about 12 hours. Yeah, I I was dedicated to win. Like I was so dedicated to beat that game, you know, unlock, you know, kind of majority of everything, you know, get all the uh items, you know, double my magic power and all that, but uh yeah. Oh man, I I'm, I'm never doing that again. <laughs> that was like a 12-hour stream of Fortnite. That's basically what it was. <laughs> but that's I was just like, "Yep, never doing that again." But on that note, um, yeah, nothing really else with my backlog other than those two other games, though. But like I said, super excited for Thursday and Friday. And uh, if you're seeing this right now, I'm not streaming Friday. I am not streaming Friday because I'm going to be on the Super Mario grind. Once that drops, I'm going to be like I was on Wind Waker. I'm going to be no lifing the hell out of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. It's happening, man. Like, if I was... Uh, if I was, like, if I wanted to get my um, streaming equipment, because I'm supposed to have, like, a uh, PC tower coming in uh, Thursday, because it supports my uh, my Elgato, I'm going to try to see if I can get everything hooked up together, and maybe I can stream a Mario game. So I'm hoping, I'm praying, you know, it happens, and I definitely would love to do it, like, 100%. Like, if that happens, like, if I get everything taken care of, I'm... I'm so ready to stream Nintendo games. I don't care what it is. You know, Mario, Zelda, Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Splatoon, uh, Super Nintendo games, applications, you know, Met I'll, I'll try to beat Metroid on stream if I have to, but if I don't beat it on stream, I can just beat it off stream, so you know, it's all good. But either way, you know, I'm I'm really excited on that. And my uh, 
my PC tower is supposed to come in Thursday, so I have this the new monitor. It's not this monitor, but I'll show the monitor here on Twitter, you know, uh, I believe on Thursday once I get everything. And I'll show that and the uh, PC tower. So I'll be uh, be on the lookout on Twitter. I'll probably uh, I'll probably schedule the tweet because it probably won't be like maybe until I would say I would say maybe once it arrives I'll probably schedule it, but somewhere around there. But um, I'm excited. I'm trying to trying to get everything taken care of one step at a time. And the new PC is probably just going to be for like all my games I download and like emulation. Yeah and uh, all that other jazz. So I'm excited. So it'll be like a gaming PC, like 100%. I'd like, like this one is kind of like, you know, it's for editing and all that. And I probably may do a editing software sort of thing, but um, I'll see what I can do with that. I might upgrade my editing software. I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I'll, 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 I'll try the best I can though. Cause like I said, you know, he, I know it's like a friend of mine said he's going to try to, Donate to help out the cause. And see, this is my thing with donations. Like, I'm going to say this real quick. You don't have to donate, but it is appreciated if you do. But, I, and like I said, you know, I, I don't I don't ask for donations. But if you feel like you have, like, the... Uh, <laughs> if you feel like you want to help out in some sort of way, then that's, that's awesome. That's very sweet of you. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, if you want to do it, then do it. But if not, you know, that's okay. You know, just, you know... Chatting with me, you know, that's the basically the only thing at the end of the day is what warms my heart, you know. But <laughs> and then Penguin's like, hobby, oh, but okay. Oh, I, 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 no, 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 I see what you did there. But um, <laughs> but anyways, like I said, you don't you don't have to uh, donate. It's optional. But again, you 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 want to do it, then you know that's that's your decision to do it, you know, and all that jazz. But anyways, but back to that though. Yeah, I'm actually. Getting ready to do that, you know, getting ready for Thursday. So Thursday is going to be a big day for me, for sure. But anyways, um, what are we in? 26 minutes? Okay, yeah, let's get to some news here. We got some stuff we got to talk about here. So we got some big, exciting stuff here. So if you guys haven't heard, the PlayStation 5 showcase will be... T uh, if you're seeing this on Twitch as of right now, it will be tomorrow. And if you guys are watching this on On Demand or on YouTube when it's uploaded, it's probably passed by now. So basically, before PlayStation 5 launches this holiday, they wanted to give us one more look at some of the great games coming to PS5 at launch and basically beyond. So the next digital so showcase will weigh in around 40 minutes and will feature updates on the latest titles from Worldwide Studios and world-class development partners. And you tune in to Twitch on YouTube or YouTube this Wednesday, September 16th at 1 p.m. Pacific time and, and f or 4 p.m. Eastern time if you're on the uh, East Coast just to see what's on tap for PlayStation 5. So, Penguin, are you excited, man? What are you expecting? What, what are your expectations and hopes for the showcase? Uh I honestly don't want to get expectations up because then I can be let down. <laughs> true, that is true. I will, uh, I will give you that. But um, um, I'm hoping like there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff I think that's going to be shown. Like they're going to show a little bit of uh, Miles Morales, the news, the Spider Man. You'll you'll be on you'll be on board for that. That's hundred percent. I think that will be oh, like yeah. shown. Yeah. So I saw uh, some of uh, a little bit of reveal they did with that to kind of um mm -hmm. I guess show what it might look like but we'll see they show they uh, shown some teasers we'll... a little bit yeah yeah they have definitely have shown some it actually looks really really cool and even Matt was pretty excited over that too yeah it, it looks dope yeah I mean the I... suit they got very like accurate from the comics and everything and then that's kind of the other thing I'm I'm interested to see what they do is what kind of uh, Spider-Man costume skins they'll add for it. Mm -hmm. Some have hinted that they might bring in the uh, Venom suit. Mm -hmm. Like the black suit. Yeah, yeah. Or this one. Um, but there's it's just a speculation right now. There's no actual uh, official rumor mill or leaks about that. It's just mm -hmm. because he because his suit is pretty much already black anyway. Mm -hmm. They figured that that would be a good way. Uh, some were uh, guesstimating and 
saying that it'd be a good way to bring in the black suit because he's already got a black suit on basically mm -hmm. yeah definitely definitely so, um th this is a this is a thing i was thinking about on my end now if you guys knew me but if you guys actually know me for like a very long time my favorite playstation one of my favorite playstation series of all time is god of war like you you guys already know how much i love god of war but it was this was just like kind of in the rumor mill a little bit. It was like a little teaser that they had that uh, they said that maybe possibly there might be like a little tease of the uh, next uh, God of War game, which is supposed to be called God of War Ragnarok, which will continue the story of, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, Kratos and Atreus after the events from, uh, the, for, you know, the God of War, you know, the, um, the PlayStation 4 version, like the revamped from uh, Norse mythology, like... Uh, it's it's supposed to be like I might it haven't really shown any leaks or like any like sort of thing, but there's just like rumors and speculations at this point. Like nothing's really confirmed though. Like you know, obviously what you were talking about with the you know the Spider-Man uh, game coming out. Well, I don't know if it's it's more of a DLC though. It, I forget. Like that's more uh, it's DLC or is it actually like a sequel? Because I keep what, forgetting now. <laughs> yeah. No, Spider-Man's actually going to be on the uh, PS5. Yeah, but I'm saying like, what, is it the is it going to be the DLC though? But I that's where I no, keep I forgetting. No, I think it's going to end up being a, a separate game by itself. It's not going to be. Oh, a DLC. okay, okay. But yeah, like same thing with like God of War, supposedly Ragnarok. If if uh if that actually does get happen, like actually does you know get you know like release or it gets leaked out, like gets shown in the uh, PS5 trailer. I just want to get a PS5 just for that, <laughs> just for God of War Ragnarok. Like I don't care about anything else. Maybe, maybe, if, uh, maybe if Call of Duty, you know, Black Ops Cold War, maybe comes to there. Maybe I might get that. If that, I'm, I'm pretty sure that'll probably get you know leaked in there, the multiplayer part of it somewhere. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'll probably get that also. Like, it, if it if it comes down to it. But God of War Ragnarok will probably, if that actually is the real thing and it actually is confirmed, I would actually be so on board just to actually play that. Because <laughs> God of War was like my favorite game of 2018. Like 100%. Like, if that wasn't one of your favorite games in 2018, I mean, I know there's like in other games, everybody said Red Dead Redemption and all that, but it, it was game of the year material. I'm glad it got game of the year in 2018. It was so beautiful. The story was absolutely magnificent. The soundtrack, oh my god, it gave me goosebumps. It was just, it was the perfect game. It was the perfect game to play. I mean, even if you don't play it, like, if you're not a God of War fan, you definitely need to play it, because even though the combat's different, I still need to beat a Give Me God of War challenge. So maybe maybe we might do that one day here, maybe uh, somewhere down the line here. But um, I'll have to definitely go back to it. But... Um, if you haven't played this, then what are you? What are you miss? You're missing out on a lot of things. So, uh, yeah. So, speaking of like, I'm talking about um, uh, game of the year material because I have that. I have Overwatch. Overwatch was game of the year in 2016, and then yeah, because Breath of the Wild was 2017. That I owned that on the Nintendo Switch. That was also game of the year. And yeah, 2018 God of War. So I have uh, three game of the year games that I own. <laughs> My house is beautiful, full of uh, full of great video games. So if you want to come over to my house to play some great games, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> you... no, <laughs> nope, I'll, I'll DM it to you. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm definitely not. <laughs> no addresses being leaked here. I do not know what's going on. But um, but uh, anyways, um, I'm pretty excited about watching this uh, showcase. I'm gonna keep my expectations like to like you know. I like a medium, like medium, like probably like lowish medium sort of thing. But 40 minutes, though, it'll t probably definitely be worth it. Like 100%. Like, I'm so excited to see what they have to offer here. Because, you know, I love Nintendo. I love PlayStation. Those are like, you know, the two consoles I do play. So I'm, again, I am super excited to see this, you know. But again, if you're watching this on the YouTube side, it's already passed. And... I was excited for what they showed. So, little fourth wall break. I'm talking... <laughs> basically, you know, fut the future part of me was talking to you guys on YouTube. <laughs> but, yep. anyways, um, yeah. I w I'm hoping God of War, at the end of the day, get does get released. Like, it's, it's like at least teased. Not released, though, but at least like a teaser or something. I would... I will literally scream if that happens. Like, <laughs> when... See, little fun story. When I saw the actual, actual you know 
demo for what they showed at E3 a couple years back for God of War, I just lost my mind. Like I was like, "Oh shit, are you kidding me?" Like that's that's gonna be me if that if uh, God of War two, you know, Ragnarok actually becomes a thing. Like that will be me. I will literally like yeah. scare my entire neighborhood. Like I will scream as loud as I can, and my uh, my neighbors downstairs are probably gonna call the cops on me. <laughs> it's like you. We have a domestic search. No, I'm sorry. I just got excited over a uh, over a video game that they showed at the showcase. I'm sorry, <laughs> but I don't because know. That's of how just how you scream. They come in, ma'am. Are you okay? Yeah, ma'am. I'm not a ma'am. <laughs> I'm a sir. Don't assume my gender. <laughs> oh my god! But I'm. Uh... That needs to be a new hero. That needs to be a new character in the comic book. My gender. My gender. <laughs> oh my god. Who are you? Yeah. My gender. My gender, my gender. It sounds like it sounds like Jinder Mahal for the uh, the the wrestler, but uh, my gender. And now coming into the blue corner, here is my gender. <laughs> All right. Now coming, Bill Clinton. I am here. <laughs> Who is this person? <laughs> but um, anyways, moving on here. So we have uh, more leaks. Speaking of leaked footages and. Uh, and photos and all that so and we were talking about how we were excited for super mario 3d all-stars we were talking about that last week too when dan was on here so it apparently has reported leaked onto the internet with some footages and photos from the actual games itself so basically the game's due to launch officially this friday but well-known data miner aka insert name here we're not going to uh put in yeah. names so, yep you got it. <laughs> no, but his real name is uh, Oatmeal Dome. He reports that the title has already found its way online, revealing a few interesting little tidbits about how the compilation has been put together. And he quotes by this, and, you know, online, he put this in a little article saying, It appears that all the games are emulated. Galaxy and Sunshine run, or, uh, run under a Wii and GameCube emulator named Haggy, possibly made by... Uh, Nerd, which means, you know, Nintendo of Europe Division. That's a little bit short for that. And Mario 64 is, runner, is running under Nintendo 64 emulator, which is uh, don't know which one. And, uh, and that's what he quotes on that. And the only Nintendo 64 emulator I currently know is uh, Project 64, which obviously where I played Zelda Master Quest. Beat that. Put that on my backlog. Boom. Done. But it's um one of those situations where, like... Sometimes, like, the emulation, like, on if you play this, like, on PC, is a lot better than the actual original console itself. So, uh, I mean, I can understand, like, why this is becoming a thing. But it goes to show, like, you know, and the rumors going around with it, which will be my next point here, which the uh, they're supposedly uh, saying that Super Mario 3D All-Stars pre-orders are going to be canceled at GameStop, which kind of leads up to this tweet, in a sense, you know? Which... I don't know, at least at least to me, it's like it's kind of bonkers like to think about. And especially uh, what I was looking at on Discord, like, you know, like a few hours ago, people were talking about the uh, like the certain, you know, camera angles and all that with the designs and all that. Everybody is saying that Super Mario Galaxy, at least at this moment, has like the best angles, which is everybody's given, you know, good reviews about it. Because like I said, you know, Super Mario Galaxy is obviously one of the... Uh, best, you know, Mario, not the best, but one of the best Mario games to ever, you know, be released, you know, Super Mario Galaxy 2 can kind of, you know, be that same way, and, um, I think Super Mario 64 still has that same, you know, camera angle adjustments things, which was, you know, kind of, you know, kind of like, you know, that makes sense, you know, I feel like they're gonna, like, keep it, they didn't really, buy it. like, I didn't really have a problem with the, uh, camera angles on Super Mario 64, to be honest, but I know a lot of people yeah. did, but, I don't know, that's just one thing. Uh, I know uh, Sunshine. Sunshine supposedly is supposed to have inverted camera controls. Now I don't know what that means, though. I, if you guys don't know what that inverted means, it basically if you put down your character goes up, and you push up your character goes down, like if it looks down and all that. But I don't know what that means personally. I don't know how that's going to affect my gameplay of it, especially with like Mario 64 and Galaxy. But Penguin, are you a fan of uh, inverted controls at all with certain games? Like, I want to uh, hear your thoughts. You're you're not a fan uh, of it, okay? The only tell time us. I've done inverted is airplane games, like Ace Combat. Yeah, something like that. Like airplane games, you know, 
uh, Star Wars games. Like, I, I don't I mean, yeah. just to have inverted controls on Super Mario 64, like, I don't, like, I was going to say, like, I don't like the idea for it, but if, like, say, say if I got used to it, then I wouldn't really, you know, complain at it about it at all whatsoever. But I know there's a lot of people that are going to be complaining about that, like, 100%, for sure. Like, oh, yeah. Like, and this is this is a big one right here. Like, this is actually the big, big picture here. Um, so people, get this. There was somebody that complained about Super Mario 3D All Stars. Guess, like guess, one, yeah. guess, guess what? <laughs> guess what? Guess what? Guess what part they complained about? You're you're never gonna guess what they complained about. Which which part it was? So basically. Uh... Oh god, no! I was gonna say like you 3D go. Enough? <laughs> well, no, I mean, uh, I mean, if you want to put it that way, but um, no, actually, no, it wasn't. Um, so what it was, they complained about the menu screen out of all things. Oh gosh! I'm sorry, if, you, if I don't know if you've seen it or not, but uh, the uh, the menu screen looked showed you uh, what game you could actually select from. Uh, Super Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy, and oh my god, they were going on like a, like a, not like a tempered tantrum, but like on a rant saying how, oh, this is like too professional, like, oh, this is something like maybe like you see at a Mozart concert or something. I'm like, I don't see anything wrong with the uh, with the uh, menu screen, honestly, when I took a look at the uh, the uh, leaked photo of it. I mean, it, it looked fine with me. You know, I don't mind it at all, honestly. It was like God of War had like almost a similar thing too. And all these, like, you know, collection games, they'll have, like, certain menu screens. Like, I don't know why people get so triggered. I mean, I mean, if you don't like it, you know, that's fine. Just don't, like, rant about it on Twitter. Just, like, you know, keep it to yourself. You know what I mean? Yep. I don't know. But that's just, like, huh. Like, that was, I just got a laugh. I mean, I was laughing about it, but then, like, at the same time, it was, uh... It was quite the uh, interesting scenario in a case. <laughs> I don't know, but, um... Mm. Sorry, I was taking a drink of water there. But, um, yeah, it was just one of those things where people are just going to complain no matter what it is. Even if it's a menu oh, screen, yeah. something, you know, multiplayer, you know, issue. You know, Matt Man obviously complains a lot in Fall Guys when something doesn't get fixed. But, you know, that's a completely different topic to talk about for another game. And uh, we, we do have some Fall Guys uh, stuff coming up here very, very uh, soon. But, um, like I said... Um, it's just it just baffles me that people complain like over the smallest things and just like they have to write like a certain essay about it, which is just unreal. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I'm just those are just kind of like the people that just make me laugh. Like I'm just like, oh my god. But I don't know. But either way, I mean it's it's not gonna stop me from playing it. I'm excited. I'm gonna be doing it, and I'm, I'll be ready. I'll be definitely be ready for it. But uh. If you guys, like I said, if you guys have it pre-ordered digitally, like, you know, if you're on the West Coast like I am, you know, 9 o'clock Pacific time or a little bit after that, we'll be, we'll be jumping in. We're, we're going in. We're going to be grinding. We're going to be on that, uh, 12 hour no life. <laughs> 12 hours. I'll beat it. 100%. Get everything. You know, 120 stars in that game for Super Mario 64. And again, I'll definitely be grinding a lot on Sunshine and Galaxy too. Galaxy, I'm actually looking forward to be playing also because I kind of started like at the beginning of it, but I never finished it. Mm -hmm. So I'm super excited to play that as well. So there is that. Um, so I'm, and again, like I said with last week, I actually um, am going to be playing this in order from 64 to Sunshine to Galaxy just to do that. But I'm going to be interested to see how the camera controls work with Galaxy. Now it's like it has switch controls. I'm. I'm super excited to see what they do there. But should be on, interesting. Definitely. Yeah. I'm yeah, interesting and exciting at the same time. So uh anyways, um little minor news here. We'll get to some minor news here really quick. So um just wanted to mention here right now, Undertale. Everybody knows the game Undertale, obviously because mm -hmm. of a Yep. <laughs> Undertale turns five years old today. Today is Undertale's birthday. So the, basically what happened was the Undertale website was updated, and they actually had an update on um, Deltarune status. Toby Fox posted an update uh, earlier on today saying that they're actually going to make... They're making excellent progress with it, which 
it definitely excites me more because I will be hoping that we will get some sort of, you know, update on Delta Rune Chapter 2, which if you guys don't know, Del obviously it's Delta Rune is basically, you know, Undertale, but they kind of like flop the words around a little bit with like the same sort of words. But, uh, uh, I yeah, Undertale is. I'm gonna tell you a little story about I about you know playing Undertale, and I never knew about this until. Shout out to a uh, Force Minish. Um, she got me into Undertale, and I decided like you know what I bought it. It's something different. Let me live stream it for a little bit. Let me see if I can you know maybe see if people can actually watch it on you know YouTube or Twitch. I don't know. Was I streaming on YouTube or or was I on Twitch on it? I don't remember. I think it might have been on I don't YouTube. I think I think it was YouTube before I made the move here to Twitch, but um, oh my God, I just fell in love with the game, and I had like a good number of people watching that, and there's actually a lot of people that love Undertale too, which is um, definitely you know especially for like you know the game being five years old, still being popular as it is, it's it's super fun. You would definitely like if you like if you actually got the chance to play this, you would like it's like it's so heartwarming and. Well, it's it's heartwarming, but there's also like two different paths you can take. Actually, there's three, but you can take a pacifist route, which means you can uh, basically be friends with everyone. And obviously, if you want to go the genocide route, you can kill all the characters in the game. And then obviously, the neutral route, you can like do like a mix of both. But uh, basically, Undertale is basically the RPG game where you don't have to kill anyone. I mean, you probably could if you want to do a genocide route, but um, at the same time, it's just like I, I do more of a pacifist thing than anything else. I couldn't like force myself to like kill all the uh, adorable characters on there. I don't know why, but uh, that's just me though. <laughs> that would be just me. <laughs> I can't kill I can't kill uh, Toriel anymore because the first time I killed Toriel when I did my first playthrough of Undertale, that kind of put a stain in my soul a little bit. Because I remember, like, Rebecca was, like, DMing me on Twitter saying, No, don't kill Tori! <laughs> Why do you always go to spare her? I'm like, I don't know, I'm playing this for the first time. Like, what do you want me to do? But I don't know. But I was just, I was playing it through blind for the first time. I didn't, you know, like, I didn't know what to expect. But then when, you know, when I played it, like, when I actually got, pra when I practiced, I looked up some playthroughs. I did it over and over. But it, it was, I got used to the, uh, what to do on there. So, yeah. I... I loved it though. I love I love the game personally. It's Undertale. Like anything, it's like once you get used to the the gameplay and how to do it, it's you know, it's easy. Yeah, I can understand why Undertale is actually super super popular because it was um, it was actually Toby Fox I think uh, used to do uh, I guess it was uh, you know a game called Earthbound with Ness. Yeah, because yeah, it was a uh, he did ROM hacks of Earthbound and that's where he kind of like. Uh, got the inspiration from because Undertale was an inspiration on Earthbound. I didn't know what Earthbound was until like, you know, just, you know, recently when a friend of mine actually started streaming it. I actually checked it out for a little bit. And I was like, okay, so that's where Ness comes from. Okay, so that's why he's uh that's why he's in Smash Brothers, because that's why they put him in there. But um yeah, so that Undertale was, you know, took inspiration off that. Like the characters, like, you know, part of the story, like the RPG combat mechanics, they they're all basically off Earthbound. So that was uh that was an actual thing. So you, I think you did you you played Earthbound along with Metroid, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was like a long time. I never played Earthbound, but I have it on my. Uh, I just downloaded the uh, SNES emulators, so I know uh, Earthbound's not on a Nintendo Switch Online. But I definitely do want to play it though sometime. Like once uh, I get through the Mario's, the Metroids, and all that jazz, I'm definitely gonna try to put that on my list, like to actually play. Because I have it downloaded, like, I, I want to try to see if I can get it downloaded, like, or not downloaded, but transferred to my new PC. I don't know, like, how to do that, but if I can't do that, then I could probably just, like, you know, download it um, off my new PC, like the emulator, the ROM, and just, bam, just go like that. But, hey, maybe one day I might, maybe one day, like, maybe I, I can probably stream PC games, too, because that's the only thing. That's another thing I was going to mention, you know, Nintendo Switch... Uh, PC, maybe maybe add the PS4 a little bit too. Just put that hook hook it up the uh, Elgato, all that, and I'll I'll be ready to go. A little fourth wall break, yeah, I'll definitely be ready to go here. So, a little update on uh, yeah, because we were talking about like Delta Rune here a little bit. So we were talking about how Toby Fox's uh update was with this game. So it's basically been you know 
two years since the follow-up game, you know, Deltarune was, you know, a lengthy chapter one, you know, on PC and Nintendo Switch and PS4 were like the demo part of it, which was free. So basically what they're looking at here, so Deltarune chapter two, like everybody wanted to know when the release date was. So officially there it hasn't been a release date for it. So, but according to a recent article featuring an update from Toby Fox, as I mentioned, development on chapter two began around the middle of 2020 and has progressed at a faster rate than chapter one. That's where the excellent part comes in. So it's based on that. It's possible that Delta Room Chapter 2 will either be released in late 2020 or early 2021. So it released in 2018 but required three years of development from the uh, from the uh, ideation to coding. And it's been almost two years since that point. So assuming that Chapter 2 will continue to be easy, being easier to develop, it will probably be out by October 31st, like at the latest of 2021. And... As of this moment, though, Fox intends on giving a more in-depth Delta Rune Chapter 2 update on Undertale's 5th year anniversary, which will occur, like I said, on today's date. So, if you guys are listening to this now, it is September 15th, but if not, it's way past the one if you're seeing this on YouTube. So, um, basically, uh, we're, we uh, kind of are looking at here, because I think the, uh, the processing... At this moment, we would probably say it's like right around, uh, let me see. I think there was like an article or I'm, I'm trying to get to it here. So, um, so like I said, it is currently in development. So we, we know that, but I know he put an article out saying that there, it's like 95% done on like on a certain area, but I don't remember where that was though. But yeah, it, it's, it's going to be like, it's. They're really speeding up the process with this game, which is uh, <clears throat> very, very exciting, at least for me, though. So I'm definitely super excited on that. Like, 100%. If, like I said, Delta Rune Chapter 1 is free in the PlayStation, and I think it's in demos. It's in the demos section, so that's why the game's not fully completed. So, Penguin, if you wanted to play Delta Rune for a little bit, no, the game doesn't, the, uh, the chapter doesn't take too long either. So, if you've wanted to definitely go check that out definitely do it so yeah, i'll have to this weekend, maybe. yeah it, it's free it's in the demo section and it's free so like at least delta rune chapter one so if you want, want to play that it's it's actually like a nice feel good little game though like it's basically undertale but maybe it's a sequel i don't know toby hasn't really given us like you know any like info on what if, like if it's the sequel or like a not not like a pre maybe it might be like an alternate universe or something like i don't know there's like a, a lot of conspiracy theories and easter eggs behind it and knowing toby fox and undertale there is a lot of easter eggs in undertale and delta rune you would you definitely would love this game for sure <laughs> i'm just gonna throw that out there because penguin i know you're a fan of easter eggs so this is definitely for you man 100 yep. percent definitely for you because you're you're like the big easter egg guy and i'm kind of am too though in a way so that's why that's why i love, love searching for easter eggs like on games like that so Moving on here, so we have, of course, another update here on uh, some uh, big news. Rocket League is going to be free to play on September 23rd on all consoles and PC. So basically, if you wanted to get Rocket League, now would be the chance to get it on September 23rd, which... I've already have Rocket League. I got it for free on PlayStation Plus, so that's like, you know, long time ago. I've already gotten that taken care of. But yeah, it was probably one of the best free games I've ever gotten on uh, PlayStation Plus, like hands down. That was like way back when I actually got a PS4, though, when Rocket League, you know, was free on there. The popularity it got was just absolutely insane. I still love it to this day, though. Maybe we'll definitely play it again, like definitely, for sure. Like once, uh, once it, well, I think... Once it goes free on that day, we'll definitely play it. I might get it on my Switch, though, because I think, like, for the first time, I actually might own two, like, like a game on both consoles. Like, you know, Rocket League on PS4, and then I'll have Rocket League on my Switch, which I'll be excited for that, like, once that drops. So, so we actually got it sooner than expected, though, Penguin. So it's um, at least, like, a week and a day away for those who are watching on the Twitch side. And how do you feel about this being free? You think the popularity is going to go up now that people are going to like start playing it now that it's free to play? Oh yeah, anything free to play like what's that thing we have? You can't beat free. 
Oh, um, what, what was, okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about, but, uh, oh my god, there was, like, a bunch of free-to-play games. <laughs> there was, like, a bunch, I, like, I kind of, like, it's, they're kind of, like, spinning through my head right now, since <laughs> I played through a lot of those. Yeah, we had a bunch of, uh, I forgot which ones we played, it was, like, free-to-play, and we kind of got hooked on some of them. Yeah, H1Z1 was one, obviously Apex was kind of sort of another one. Uh, obviously, well, Fortnite. We were on Apex for a while until uh, we like everybody was kind of on the same page with that one. When it's like, unless y'all do something to get rid of these uh, cheaters and hackers and stuff, it's it's gonna go like downhill. Mm -hmm. And then they finally fixed it. So yeah, maybe I might jump on that. It like I know I miss ice. I miss ice because we kind of like played it for a little while. But um, yep. I, like I I definitely do want to get back on board with that. I'm like that Fortnite, maybe like one of these days I'll uh, kind of like mix and mash, re-download. Uh, the only like... thing you'll have to do on it definitely is go into the uh, trainer or what do you call it? Not trainer, but um, firing range. Mm -hmm. You'll definitely have to go on that and reset your sensitivities and stuff like that so that it doesn't. Oh. So sight, it doesn't wander. Yeah. And I okay. Do that and uh, once I fix that issue. It didn't wander anymore, and I was, you know, pretty straight, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Like, you actually hit your shots more accurately? Is that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah, it, you have to mess with the accuracy on them. But with mine, it, I forgot what it was. It was something simple. Mm -hmm. And when I fixed it and then checked it in uh, firing range, it cleared up, and I was able to hit all my shots after that point. Yeah, I, I can see that. I, can, I probably need to check my settings, though, too, once I actually re-download it. Like, there was another game I actually re-downloaded just recently, but, like, I know it's, uh, I was gonna say, it's, I know it's, like, a little bit, like, like, I re-downloaded Dead by Daylight, which kind of, I streamed earlier today, but I re-downloaded MLB The Show also, too, so I do need, I actually need to get back on the career mode grind for that, just for, like, at least, like, a day or two, like, somewhere around there, and... Yeah. I think uh, I think Amanda was the one that came up with this name. She wanted me to nickname my kid, my uh, at bat character named Big Daddy Kyle, and that's what I, you know what I just went with that. <laughs> I don't know why that was like so popular with the chat, but I was like, you know what, we'll go with it, and the name just kind of stuck. So every time I uh, come up to the bat, the uh, PA announcer is now up to bat, Big Daddy Kyle. <laughs> I'm just like, I can't even take it seriously with a straight face. I don't know why, but it was just so funny, though, at the same time. But, uh, uh there was, what was, yeah, the, because back to the free to game, yeah, free to play games, uh, I know it was like H1, Apex, obviously Fortnite, um, what was, you were mentioning another one, uh, another one, but, uh, I for, I know what you're talking another about. One. Another one. <laughs> yeah, I know what you're talking about, oh, but I forgot the name of it, which Sorry. is, uh, I'm still doing these challenges and I had a couple people thought no 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 it's okay it's okay you're good you're good you're still on that Fortnite grind I completely understand that which is like I said so far got a few that Ooh, like, three. Oh, oh he's, he's 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 going up to three ladies and gentlemen he is going up to three. Oh no this is not like uh I was playing with ice and her fiance one day mm -hmm. helping them get challenges and we were playing uh squads mm-hmm <laughs> And she's like, did you, like, overnight become ninja or something? Because they had a game where it was, like, 13 elims. Oh, why, you mean Ice had 13 elims? No, I did. Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think the most I've ever gotten on uh, Fortnite, I think I was playing with Matt. Um, I think it was, um, I think, like, in an actual Battle Royale. I think, yeah, it was Matt, um... I think it was Mimic Gaming. I think it was the other one. I think you, you probably know who I'm talking about. And then the uh, yeah. I think Matt's follower that had a Nintendo Switch account. Yeah, we won with a player that had a Nintendo Switch account that was playing Fortnite. That's how I think, uh, the, uh, I think the most kills I had was like 14 or 15, somewhere around there. Yeah, I think that game I ended up with only with 13 kills and I was only knocked one time, and that was yeah. the final stretch when we won. Mm -hmm. But I was just like, I don't know if it's just, like, how do you put it, like, dumb luck for having not been on in a while versus maybe just had a bunch of noobs and all the, uh... Yeah, really that's that's how I kind ranked. of felt when I, we when we won that game, though, too, which was just, you know, insanity. And speaking of winning games, I felt bad for Matt, though, when I was watching his stream, you know, a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. 
and he, he his game crashed on him because he was using I don't know what item he was using though the guys I know you guys won that game and Matt got like kind of triggered when he his game crashed and I know he kind of gets triggered a little bit I mean I mean I kind of do too at times but not not as bad as Matt though but oh holy crap he, well I'm not saying he's gonna takes it to the extreme but yeah I mean he he put he has a, he puts on an entertaining show when he's mad but um was it the silver surfer thing is that what it was yes. that he uh, uh the silver surfer crashed on him oh okay that's what i figured though okay but because, yeah uh, what what was it um i think he put on silver surfer and no no he grabbed the silver surfer thing and it was uh i remember looking it up later that mm -hmm. that was a common glitch that would occur for some reason with that one is that it mm -hmm. would kick people or something like that if they uh used it yeah, that's 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 weird. Which was kind of weird. I was like, why mm -hmm. would that be a common glitch? That shouldn't even be a glitch. <laughs> it's common, ha it, like quotation marks, common. <laughs> but I think a lot of it, uh, the issues that they had with this release for the Marvel stuff, I believe came because they were trying to either beat or get everything out at the exact same time as the Avengers game. Mm -hmm. And I think Avengers was ready. Uh, sooner than expected, so it ended up being where they had to rush everything, so a lot of it was not done as it should have been, I guess you could say. Yeah, I mean, I get, that's the same thing with, you know, all the games like that, you know? Like, yep. they'll have some glitches, and then if they uh, if they keep, uh, I was going to say, if they keep uh, having the glitches in the game, like, if people keep having those problems, then obviously, you know, the game's going to crash on them, and then people are going to complain about it. Which goes back to, you know, we were talking about earlier on. Everybody's going to complain about it, about something. It just doesn't matter if it's Nintendo, PlayStation, you know, what game you're playing. You know, Fortnite, COD, Overwatch, you know, Pokemon, uh, Animal Crossing, you know, whatever. People are going to complain, no matter what. Yeah, but if it's something that actually causes your game to crash at no fault to you, then to me, that is legitimate complaint. That is, that is, that is true. But if it's like you're just, you know upset because some guy had something you didn't or whatever or you're just bitching the bitch then nah <laughs> bitch use <laughs> yeah. yeah that's basically what it is if you have a bitch you here's a tissue yep crickets <laughs> but uh actually yeah speaking of uh speaking of uh let's say how do you say it you know uh updates and glitches fall guys Fall Guys is in the news again, and I don't know if you saw this or did you know if this game updated for you when you were playing earlier. So, uh, Fall Guys, basically what the uh, update is, so they, supposedly they make this the more exciting part, was um, basically with the latest patch, you will quickly start to see that not that all is not what it seems to be You know, in the bl Blunder Dome. Familiar favorites will be uh, tackled in all new ways with the addition of dozens of obstacles, dizzyingly randomness rotations, and of course, plenty of tumbling fruit. And what's more is that players will have no idea when these changes will occur and uh, no beans dignity shall be spared. So basically they're adding random obstacles to uh, any of the modes that you play. Like say like if you're playing, you know, like dizzy heights, you know, obviously with the, di like the, dizziness going around fruit will come out of nowhere like i don't know it's it it's i don't know this looks weird somebody said they didn't like that on twitter which i can understand why they didn't like that on twitter just but just imagine matt playing this you know random you know <laughs> update oh my god he's gonna <sighs> scream if he, you think he was complaining you know yet last night oh my god he is going to scream <laughs> like get this out of there why would they even update this sort of thing you know like it's it's that terrible. Like I don't know. I just feel like I'm not you know super keen with this update. Like season two, I'm pretty hyped up about, but I don't know. Just like this mid season sort of thing. I don't know. I'm pretty suspect on this. This just this just a way that uh, it's just a way to get people making me more mad some more. You know? Oh yeah. Definitely. I don't know. That's just me. That's just my particular take on it. <laughs> Like, good God, like, if you wanted to make people even more mad, like, somebody at Fall Guys said, oh, let's make them mad even more. Add this little mid-update, boom, there you go. More rage incoming. 
more and more rage. And then like Fall, like not well, Fall Guys obviously, but Fall Mountain and Hexagon and Jump Showdown. What are those? Oh, how are, what things are going to be added on there? You know, you, do, you don't know what's going to be added towards there. It's going to be random. You don't know. There could be fruit in Hexagon, like, falling from the sky. You never know. Like, the fruit could be actually the ones that takes out all the Hexagon tiles. And then it's going to make everybody else's life some problems. And people are going to hate Hexagon even more. You know, it's just going to be, you know, that insane. Even team games have, like, these random new obstacles in there, too. Like, the, the stripper poles will be in there. Like, you know, 100% will be in there. And... Oh my god, it's just, it's insanity. Like, I've seen, you know, footage of uh, some people, you know, glitching out with this sort of thing, and uh, people getting caught up, and it's... Oh, man. It's insane. And they have this thing called the Big Yetus now. I, I'm serious, that's actually a thing. The Big Yetus is a thing where you have the mouth that's, like, kind of floating up on nowhere, and it goes into, you know, like a... Uh, counterclockwise circular motion and I guess if you time it right you can actually fling yourself like all the way across the map that's like if you get hit by the mallet you, it'll like literally fling you all the way like straight like like a like a dart like and that way you can actually cross the finish line which is that's nuts that's honestly nuts how you know people would actually think of this idea like who in their right mind would actually do so, sort of thing I don't know. That's just that's just there me though. <laughs> I don't know. This is think they're just thinking right now like, "Oh, this is actually a good idea. Let's actually do it." But ah, no. We're not doing that. No, no, no. Let's actually put more obstacles in there. Put a bunch of fruit in there to actually uh, block everybody's paths and let, let's make everyone's more li lives more of a living hell, you know? It's just uh I I mean, I'll play Fall Guys on season 2, but I'm not going to I mean, maybe we'll do some more Fall Guys over on the weekend. But I made I made that thing to probably do Fall Guys every single weekend, but I don't know. That's just like that game gives me like like anxiety, like up the wazoo. I mean, if it gives me anxiety, it gives Matt like super anxiety just for playing it. You know? <laughs> Good God! It's definitely a a pain sometimes. Oh, especially when you gotta like deal with other people in the game. It's just yeah. that bad. It's that bad. Like, you would think, I mean, I mean, I have a few wins under my belt, but oh my god. I just, sometimes I just, like, come to the point where, like, I can't handle this anymore. Like, and to be honest, I'll, I'll admit right now, Matt Matt actually has been coming, like, a lot better and better and better. I feel, I feel like he's going to turn into a Fall Guys pro by the time it's all said and done. But uh, it's just come to the point, though, where just, it gives us all anxiety. And imagine if that actually that game actually had proximity game chat. Do you know how many people oh, we would man. hear? <laughs> like I actually saw this on a Twitter video. Like imagine if uh, if a Fall Guys had proximity game chat. All these people were like talking over each other, not to be able to hear what's going. Like, oh my god! No! 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 It was like, oh man. <laughs> At the same, it was, it's just like one of those situations where, like. Imagine if this happened, like an actual game. It forces you into game chat, and you hear all these people. You would hear screaming and raging up the wazoo. Like Holy people would be screaming over each other. You couldn't even tell who's yelling. <laughs> it would be. It would. Oh, uh, a little bad. It's un an understatement. It would just be like, whoo! It would be terrible and very, very bad. It would be. Then again, terrible is kind of an understatement, though, too. But. What can we do at this point? I mean, like, if that happens, like, I mean, I would actually, like, if that actually did happen, though, I would be kind of curious not to say anything, but I'll record, like, people raging. Because that would be, like, my thing, though. Just to, you know, record people raging and all that. And, like, even Overwatch is, like, a prime example, too, where I can record people, like, kind of, like, raging. Especially in ranked matches, too, where you can get, like, super, like, some people, some person or people can act like super toxic towards each other and I can just like kind of like mess with them a little bit and uh, they'll, they'll make them even more mad which um, I did record a footage of that earlier so if a uh, little fourth wall break uh, I will be uploading that video sometime down the road once I get my other Fall Guys video taken care of. If you guys haven't watched uh, my uh, five tips on how to be a better Fall Guys player definitely go check that out. You know it's Five tips are definitely helpful. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done, but 
definitely go check that out. I would definitely recommend doing so. Little uh, fourth wall break there. But um, um, Penguin, you want to add anything else? I know it's been it's kind of a short show, which uh, usually we would have Matt on for the hockey segment. But um, do you have anything else you want to add on? Anything funny? Uh, nah. I honestly can't think of anything right now because I'm tired. Oh, oh, you're you're still you're still on the grind. Is is food on your mind right now? Is that what it is? Is is food on your mind? Nah, I just. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, the food is kind of on my mind right now, which, um, like I said, I'm probably going to uh, think about getting uh, a couple of medium pizzas from Domino's to add on to the um, to the what you call it, my online account, which I can score ten points for uh, every time I order online. So usually I'll get like a pepperoni and olive or uh, pepperoni and jalapeno, depends on what I want to get, but. I don't know. I am kind of hungry, and I am... That's all I have to say for my final notes. So um, thank you guys for tuning in to the podcast. And if you guys are on the Twitch side, we will see you guys next week. Hopefully Matt gets on here. But Penguin, thank you for being on, as usual. And I know we, we had to do it we had to do it early because I know we got to get up for work tomorrow. I know this is going to be about the time where you're probably going to go to bed. So, yeah, yep. like really, really soon. <laughs> so... You're going to be doing that. I'm also hungry. We need to get out of here. So um, I know it's a shorter show than usual, like a little bit 10 minutes short. That's okay, though. Like I said, we'll have like a longer show, like a little couple few minutes longer show tomorrow. But I apologize for that. No, there wasn't uh, too much to talk about, but uh, we got everything out of the way. Just wanted to share all the gaming news for you guys. And remember, Tuesday nights, we always record every single night. So again, thank you guys for watching. Love you, and I will see you next week. Hashtag Pugbark. Bye!